both Congress and BJP turned deaf ears to the hue and cry of the people of Andhra Pradesh. Since Andhra Pradesh has been divided, our party has been representing to the union to extend sufficient financial allocations in order to fulfill the promises made. The lethargic attitude of the union government is nothing but a violation of spirit of federalism. The constitution of defined, the constitution defined what is the federalism. The most deprived states should be a preference while making allocations through budget. However, Speaker, this budget turned a blind eye to, to the needs of Andhra Pradesh. There is no capital expenditure allocated the boost the economy. A very important point I would like to raise from this platform is the present government of Andhra Pradesh took all possible measures to curtail school, college dropouts against the odd conditions caused by COVID-19 by implementing a scheme named Amavadi, the first of its nature in the country, where the money for attending school is trans transferred directly into the account of mothers. But unfortunately, the budget 2022-23 seems to have utterly neglected the welfare shade of our state. Despite the deficit finance of Andhra Pradesh government has been maintaining primary health centers, especially in the COVID situation. We were expecting the central government would support the infant economy of the newly emerged state, but to our disappointment, the budget neglected our case. We really are stuck at a point where we are unable to decide if we have to appreciate the budget or not. On this occasion, I am reminded of a beautiful poem written by a Telugu poet, Vemana. Medi pandu chuda melimai yundu, potta vippu chuda purugulundu, pirikivani madina, binka milagura avispada abhirama, vinara vema. Let me read out the meaning. If you see a fruit, cluster fig, in Hindi, gular fruit, it looks very nice and neat from the outer side. But inside of it, you will find bugs. The budget 2022-23 also looks so cased as a good as a gular. But if we keenly observe it, it made less sense and more nice as far as AP is concerned. I would also once again draw your kind attention to special category status. Unfortunately, the first chief minister after bifurcation Chandrababu Naidu sold away the demand of the demand of special status like a cattleman sells away a cattle in cattle market. I would like to restrict myself due to shortage of time to high, highlight the few important issues of my state of Andhra Pradesh only. I hope the government seriously looks into the matter and does the needful. needful. The finance minister in the budget for 2022-23 has disregarded the commitments made by the center under the Andhra Pradesh Reorganization Act 2014 and the promises of special category status. The people of Andhra Pradesh are highly dissatisfied and disappointed with no allocations made to the state under the budget. According to the AP Reorganizing Act 2014, is the responsibility and duty of the central government to develop and establish 11 central educational institutions mentioned under the Schedule 13 of the Act within a span of 10 years. Eight years already have passed and the government Please is far the from the com completing the, the obligations. Madam, our party is having 10 minutes time, madam, please. The union budget 2022-23 made a minimal allocations of fund to the Central University of Andhra Pradesh, Central Tribal University Andhra Pradesh, and the Indian Institute of Petroleum and 
energy on the place. All these three institutes are Subtract. functioning from temporary campuses yeah. under the funds allocated yeah, under the budget are insubstant. Center has allocated only 56 crores to the Central University of Andhra Pradesh in the current budget against the requirement of approximately 1,500 crores per building its campus on a 419 acres land given by the state government. The finance minister in the budget speech mentioned about interlinking rivers including Godavari, Krishna, Krishna, Pennar, and Pennar, Kaveri. The Andhra Pradesh government is welcoming this decision and we also urge the central government to ensure that in case of interstate waters, there is due justice done to the lower riparian state. I also request the environmental clearance for the Royal Seema lift irrigation project urgently. <laughs> Finally, I would like to conclude by reiterating the long pending demand of special category status to the state of Andhra Pradesh, which was a promise made in, the, in this August house, which has not been honored till now. I urge the central government to grant special category status to Andhra Pradesh at earliest. Thank you. Thank you very much, madam. Sri K. Nausakani ji.